Oh, what's up guys and gals? We have more Medal of Honor beta gameplay. Excuse me, my voice is going out there. But <clears throat> this time it is with the sniper kit. Um, I'm also going to talk a little bit about KD expectations. So let's get right into this. I'm using the default sniper kit, which is the SVD battle rifle with a red dot sight. To start out with, you have the uh, red dot sight on it, which I just said. And you have C4 and you obviously have your pistol. <clears throat> Basically, you don't want to treat this as a sniper to start out with until you get either your combat scope or your, uh, you know, your normal sniper scope, which takes uh, quite a while to actually unlock, which is rather annoying. But once you do, you can use it as a real sniper. But for this, for this uh, gameplay, we're going to be using it as kind of a bolt or a semi-automatic rifle, since it is semi-automatic. You can fire, uh, you can spray bullets. Uh, it's going to take two to three shots to kill a person, either in the head or the chest. I don't really know if that's accurate because I don't have the stats because there's not really a lot of info on this game. So if you guys know otherwise, feel free to tell me. I have no problem with being wrong, but that's just that's just from my uh, gameplay observations. Uh, it takes about two to three shots to kill someone. So uh, I kind of like this setup, but it is outshined heavily by the assault rifles because you can probably get about the same effectiveness out of the assault rifles. This is just a little bit more accurate, so. About, that's about its biggest advantage when you're using the red dot sight. So, um, the C4 is kind of really not that useful. Um, explosives on this game have a small blast radius, which is a good thing, and I know a lot of people have cried for that since you know like Call of Duty 4 days, and even before then, not many people are fans of noob tubes and explosives in general. But you'll see here, I activate the C4, and I knew this guy was over there. Uh, didn't even hit him when he, I felt like he was in with ra within range and he kind of backed off there but I did not get him so that that was a bummer because I was looking to get my first C4 kill still uh, still being pretty elusive so um, playing this you want to play it as like a medium to long range range weapon it's kind of harder to get long range people because the scope on it is not really made for that and you have to hit them so many times it's you're gonna get the your most effective games is getting medium range targets so you might want to focus on that um, but I'm gonna go ahead and go straight into the main topic I want to talk about and that's KD spread and kind of the expectations of KD that have they kind of changed with the the onset of modern warfare and the uh, the kill streaks that get kills for you um, it was Modern Warfare, it kind of changed the landscape for everybody, especially games that people post because they now deem it not worthy if you're not posting like 8 or above KD spreads, which is kind of ridiculous because back in like the Halo days and the Call of Duty 4 days, a 5 KD was, uh, was perfectly fine. It was a good game. Yeah. Getting 20 kills in Halo, hell, that's a, that's a great score. I mean, depending on how many deaths you have. But if you have a 20 kills and at least a 4KD, then you did your team a pretty big service since it was only to 50. Um, and I think with Modern Warfare, you got the Chopper Gunner and you got the uh, you know, Pavlo and Harriers flying around. You're going to get insane kill games, like 100 kill games in Domination. I mean, that's some, some territory that was never really approached in a, in a first person shooter. So I really think that that changed the landscape for everyone. and. I just don't think people should hold themselves to that expectations, especially in this game. Um, I post a 5KD in this game, which I think is perfectly acceptable to post. I was a little nervous about posting it because I only go 15 and 4, and I was wondering if that was even worthy of posting. But when I sat down and thought about it, getting 15 kills in a Halo game was a good score. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to post this and see what happens. Kind of talk, kind of talk about what I thought thought about the change in the KD uh, expectations. So. In the long run, it actually turned out to be a good idea because I thought of a good commentary topic. So, <laughs> but I really just think people need to back off what they what they do, you know, KD whoring all the time because that's not what this game is about. This game in general, you want to focus on team the team aspects because you'll get more points that way. You will get points for destroying bases, destroying UAVs, destroying you know vehicles. You'll get points for kill assist, you know, playing the objective, anything like that, which also build towards your kill streak rewards, or as they call it, a uh, point streak rewards. So that's kind of a cool thing. I like that about this game. Um, the kill streaks in this game don't really build a whole big, you know, they don't build a ton towards your uh, overall KD. A lot of times you'll get the mortar strike, and as right now I have a predator, which I will fail miserably on because there's a glitch. 
Well, I don't know if it's a glitch, but I get kind of screwed out of it. But, uh, but yeah, they don't really build towards your kill streak, so you don't get those scores like you would get in the in a modern warfare, which kind of sucks. That was a pretty bad idea there by me to pull those out when I knew that guy was there. So, and you see me lose my predator, which sucks. So, but yeah, the expectations are really, really changed, and I think that's kind of a bad thing because. You know, with these new games coming out, especially with like games like Battlefield, you don't post 30 to 1 spreads. I mean, you can. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it just doesn't happen. So, I don't really think people should hold themselves to expectations. If it's good gameplay, then it's a good gameplay. Um, a lot of times, a good gameplay, when you get score lower scores, is going to mean it's a competitive gameplay. And that's not, not always a bad thing. So, that's one thing to keep in mind when, uh, when watching this video. Uh, kind of nervous about posting but like I said I decided to because I I enjoyed this game and I thought it really highlighted how to use this basic sniper kit so anybody who was uh, interested in seeing um, how these uh, kits work will be able to so you'll see me get a tie here uh, <laughs> I think that's kind of odd that they uh, let that happen because that's really not, not possible in a lot, of, a lot of first person shooters but whatever you know, I, that was my last death so um, it's kind of winding down here, so I'm going to go ahead and let it play out. But this is the default sniper class. I'm probably going to post um, a shotgun video. I've been trying to level up on the SMGs, but the SMGs or the uh, special uh, opt class is kind of hard for me to play because it's so outpower, so underpowered, and it really gets outshined by all the other classes. So I'll try my best to get get a shotgun and maybe a M4 video out, but. For now, here's the sniper video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I go up 15 and 4. And it's a pretty successful game because I got an 8 kill streak in it. So, peace.